safe standing and a return to the good old days. I don't think so. Remember, they were not that good at all. One of football's favorite phrases has never seemed more appropriate. Celtic have a safe standing area for 2,600 fans. Safe standing is back on the agenda, with the Premier League carrying out a feasibility study for top flight clubs. There is some momentum, with Manchester United Executive Vice Chairman Ed Woodward broadly in favour of a pilot scheme. Tottenham's new stadium, springing up on the high road in place of White Hart Lane, can be modified to incorporate standing areas if the law changes. David Gold, co-chairman at West Ham, is another high-profile name encouraging the return to the days of swaying crowds on the terraces. The game, whatever the nostalgic merits of standing at football, has moved on. Facilities, with cleaner, safer environments at all seater stadiums, have improved since the Taylor Report was commissioned in 1989. The glory days, when fans stood in the rain on windswept terracing at Highbury, Stamford Bridge, the Dell or St. James Park, belong in the past. The Hillsborough disaster cost 96 lives and brought the question of standing at football grounds into sharp focus. The Celtic safe seating area uses rail seats. Terrace culture, when fans were sent tumbling towards crash barriers when a goal was scored or a policeman waded in to calm down boisterous crowds, is a distant memory now. English football's history cannot be ignored. Accounts of the Hillsborough disaster, when 96 people lost their lives at the FA Cup semi-final between Liverpool and Nottingham Forest in 1989, continue to shape the sport. Conditions have improved over the 28 years, with the squalor of decaying stadiums, filthy toilets and grotty hot dog stalls all being phased out. Standards have rapidly improved, with clubs investing heavily in new stadiums, stands, seating and facilities to keep pace with modern day trends and demands. West Ham co-chairman David Gold is an advocate of safe standing. Borussia Dortmund use safe standing for domestic games. It is a welcoming sport now, with families feeling comfortable in well-maintained, seated areas. Nobody is afraid anymore. Everything associated with standing in pens at football matches hostility, fear, violence, surging has been stripped away over the years. Back in the day, they were terrace hazards. Safe standing, with improvised rail seating providing security for fans, has been adopted in other countries. Borussia Dortmund, who must revert to an all-seater stadium for European ties, generate a unique match day experience at the West Philand Stadium. They are among nine Bundesliga clubs currently using rail seats on match day. Celtic also have a safe standing section, with 2,600 places allocated to their fanatical supporters for Scottish Premiership matches. Celtic fans mingle in the safe standing area before a kickoff. The safe standing installation has been a big hit at Celtic Park. There is an argument that it helps to improve the atmosphere, that the yellow wall would be nowhere near as intimidating without 27,000 Dortmund fans behind their team. Try telling that to the boisterous, vocal fans at Sillerst Park, Turf Moor or St. Mary's. All three are among the noisiest, most vociferous in the Premier League. Palace who have an issue trying to persuade the Holmesdale fanatics to sit during matches, are among the clubs interested in safe standing. The Premier League's survey, which began with a detailed questionnaire to all 20 clubs last November, 
will take several more months to prepare. Two more shots of Celtic's safe standing area. There is also government legislation to consider, with a legal requirement for clubs in England's top two divisions to have all seater stadiums. The guidance suggests that the mood is not about to change. There are still so many people who remember the past, the dirty days of English football in the 1970s and 1980s. We look back at some of the best skills, flicks and tricks from the 2016-17 Premier League season. It was not a good time to be a football fan. Whatever anybody tells you about the rhythmic swaying and the occasional wisecrack from the fella standing next to you. Football has moved on, with more safety and security inside stadiums crucial to the matchday experience. As for a return to the good old days, remember they were not that good at all. <laughs>